Have you all heard of this guy called Aaron Francis? Probably because most of you actually watch his channel. But Aaron came out with this package called Solo to make it easier to run processes for local development in a Laravel application without having to figure out which one's actually running where. So here's Solo by Aaron Francis, a package to run multiple commands at once to aid in local development after installing, open the solo service provider, add or remove commands. I figured this would be a great package to integrate into my starter kit, Fission, if you've never heard of it. It's my opinion here, starter kit, basically all the things that I use for most of my demo applications, but Solo is a perfect example of what I want to start using within uh, Fission. Why? Because well, I initially set this up with MPX concurrently to run an NPM run dev to run everything I needed to run. Um, basically, pale, which is commands to start uh, tailing logs. I needed to run queues. I needed to run things like uh, NPM run dev uh, in the sense that I want to run my Vite server. And all of that I need to be done within one or just wanted, I guess, to be done within one command. And that's what solo is for. But it's a lot cleaner because it's a TUI. You can run PHP artisan solo and then each command, whether it's logs, Vite, HTTP, so actually running PHP artisan serve, Q, even reverb, and basically anything you want within its own little you know tab, its own little uh, window. And this is the thing that would be perfect for Fission. Um, he kind of mentions it wouldn't be possible without Joe Tannenbaum's Laircast course, Chewy Package, and of course, Live All Prompts. I was going to make this video a little bit earlier, but uh, I actually had to submit a pull request, which looks like Aaron merged. And yep, uh, I need to update the Chewy version because my starter kit Fission uses Laravel prompts, which Chewy hadn't fixed, but then uh, Chewy did fix recently. And so this is Chewy by Joe Tannenbaum, just a basically incredibly cool way of using Laravel prompts to run Tui commands. And he just recently updated it yesterday to, to fix this version constraint. So we should be good to go within, uh, within solo. So why don't we get this running in Fission and then maybe configure it to my own likings and see what solo has to offer. All right, installation. So let's go ahead and open my terminal and let's open the fission code. Oops, code slash fission. Uh, I'm just going to go red composer update just to make sure I have all of the latest uh, composer packages already installed for the starter kit. Looks like we have a couple that need to be updated. There's probably some automated way to do this. I just find myself doing it every couple of days and then you know pushing those changes. But now we have that updated composer lock. Again, there's probably ways to do this. Let me know in the comments, I would say maybe just depend upon it within GitHub. Is that still the way to do it? Um, I don't know. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and install the solo package by Aaron Francis. So we're in, uh, requiring that with composer solo dash dash dev. <laughs> Require Joe Tannenbaum satisfiable by Chewy. Okay, so maybe I need to update with all dependencies dash w okay quick little time out here i did find that even though joe tannenbaum who created chewy the dependency i needed to update for solo to work uh, he had tagged 0 0.1.8 but it didn't necessarily have the code that we needed for uh, all of this to work together but i did find a way to do all this within composer without having to change or make any prs to the code so we're going to run it as is and update our um update our starter kit that way heading back to the code Within Fission, before we install Solo, what we're going to do is open up VS Code, pull this up, and in Require Dev, what we're going to do is I'm going to run uh, this or add in Joe Tannenbaum slash Chewy. We're going to use the dev main, which is the one with the actual updates, but we're going to use it as 0.1.8 so that 
uh, Aaron Francis's solo works as we expect. And now with that running, we should be able to run composer update and get solo installed and solo is installed. So there's a couple of different commands that we need to run solo and well, PHP artisan solo runs solo, but we also need to uh, install the service provider. So what we're gonna do is use this in our install script to make sure that that's working properly. So we're going to do that. So if we go into our install script, okay, it looks like, oh, not install, we need to install the fission install command. Um, let's go ahead and create a new one that installs, cause it looks like, yeah, I have a okay, copy off JSON. Um, we can run, maybe we'll say this uh, install solo. And we'll do that. So here for, we'll run a new private function called install solo and we run PHP artisan solo install. And this call automatically runs PHP artisan. So we should be good with just solo install. And then we should be good to go. We can run the PHP artisan solo command and I'm curious, customize solo. You can open your solo service provider and make changes there. So I might not even have to run solo install because we probably need this service provider because I want to up, make some changes. So I, let's actually do that. We don't actually need to run solo install. Instead, we'll remove that. Instead, let's just go ahead and run that here. Okay, solo installed successfully. So we should have, oops, we should have the service provider ready to go. We're gonna use theme dark for logs. We're going to use, um, let's remove this commands for logs and we'll have logs as uh, PHP artisan pale. I think that's the only thing we're running within MPX or within composer run dev. Let's see. Dev runs PHP artisan pale NPM run dev. We need a server queue. Okay. So we, yeah, logs with pale. I do want to run artisan serve because if I'm running that, I'm probably not using herd and I could always, I don't know, close that out if I, if I wanted to, um, I will, we'll keep the about page just to, just to satisfy, uh, satisfy Aaron. Um, and then I do want to run pint, but that's going to be a dot vendor bin pint. And then we'll say the ANSI command. And I also want to run an ANSI command of pan. And that's going to be PHP artisan pan. And that should be everything I need. So when I run the actual fission install command, uh, we can say run composer run dev or PHP artisan solo to start the local server. Actually, I might switch this around run or composer run dev to start the local server. That looks like it's going good. Let's uh, go ahead and push this. So get status, get add, get commit. Let's say this is adding uh, uh, Aaron's solo and we'll push that. And now let's go ahead and try running it. So close this up. We'll say GitHub repo clone. We'll say this is a solo test. Okay, and to solo test, we'll run the install script. I might have broken the flux UI, but just in case, let me make sure that I use my license. Maybe something broke there. Usually I'm able to pull from, 
Yeah, my off.json. Perhaps I, I messed that up. See, yeah, off.json found. Okay, we'll fix that in a little bit. We'll run the migrations, solo test. There we go, run PHP artisan solo. And we're up and running. Okay, pull this over here. Okay, so we have uh, the PHP artisan pale runs. We have Vite. We have PHP artisan serve. This is about follow Aaron Francis. Make sure you do that. And then we have a Q. We have pan. So if I was to press S to start this, we can see the analytics. So if I was to sign up, uh, Josh at Laravel.com, testing password, testing password. Oops. And then go to playground, click the button a couple times, restart this. Now we see those pan analytics. Pint, I can press R and we run Laravel Pint. This is pretty slick. And the cool thing is like the way that Aaron has set this up within the the terminal is you, now we just uh, automatically in our service provider, let's go ahead and open this up in VS Code. Now in our solo service provider, we have the ability to just add any new command here that we want and it just, just works for us. If I was to, to move the about button, um, a lazy command of like um, make model. We just like make a model that way. But now we can in run make model, press S to start. And now the name is required. It's interesting that it won't throw the model name. Like it won't throw the prompt. So I guess we can't have Laravel prompts within this uh from the service so it needs to have some form of interactivity that's good to know but anything like pint or pan i can just press s to start it c to clear it and then for v or whatever I can just press p for pause f to follow and we're good to go yeah i love this because it just it adds a, a new thing thing for my for my setup without having to do too much so i could uh, go back to my terminal i could in code solo test i could run composer run dev and still have my whole setup previously where i still have you know vit commands logs as well as any kind of a server or if i was running um, it's automatically running for queues but now i have the ability to do the same thing but with Petri Artisan solo and still have everything up and running. So I like it, makes it super simple. And as long as I didn't break the uh, install, I don't have it here, but as long as I didn't break that install for uh, the fission, I should be good to go. I don't know why I would have broken it because we should, yeah. We're activating flux, unless something maybe like the off JSON didn't exist before it should, because this is basically just checking if this works here. Maybe I accidentally deleted it or maybe flux changed something, which is completely new. Go give solo for Laravel, Aaron Francis slash Aaron D Francis, excuse me, slash solo on GitHub, star the repository, and then start using it for your project. It's perfect to be able to say, hey, I need this specific piece of code. I usually run PHP artisan blank so many different times of your in your project, but now you just have this one uh, TUI up and running for you and you don't have to do anything else. So now it's in fission. Now it's ready to go. And hopefully I didn't break anything in the process, both within my own installation, but hopefully that chewy dependency, hopefully that makes sense. And if not, I'll update it eventually, but thanks so much, Aaron, and keep creating.